my Coriel bird fans. This is Miss Carrie coming at you, and with spring, that means a lot of our animals are starting to think about having their families. This is also the time that we start checking our bluebird boxes on a weekly basis to see how they are doing. Since this is the first check of the season, I'm not thinking that there'll be too much action yet, but I want to make sure that they're all cleaned out and ready to go for when the birds do decide to get here and start nesting. So we're going to start with this one. Now I sometimes do like to give a knock just in case something's in there. It gives them a chance to get out before I take the house. I'm going to carefully take that out. Now I usually tip it away from me first too just in case still something in there or if it's summertime and there's a wasp in there they can fly away from me rather than at me. And now we're going to take a look inside and it does look pretty cleaned out so that's good that means this is ready for its first occupant of the season if they want to come on in so we're gonna put that back on up and the bluebird that we're hoping to get are these guys right here the eastern bluebirds so the male is that nice big uh, bright blue one the female she's not quite as colorful since she spends most of the time on the nest uh, another bird we sometimes get in which is kind of blue too is this guy the tree swallow so we sometimes see them in there and other ones that'll go in are our house rents like this guy and our chickadees will sometimes find their way into the boxes too so we'll just have to see as the season goes on how many birds we get how many babies we get and how many families will end up calling our quarry hill bird boxes home you guys <music>so week two of checking our bluebird trail i'm almost to the halfway point uh, of the boxes so we're kind of up to that middle one i thought we'd see how this one's doing that knock nobody's coming out that pointed away from me and let's take a look boy there has been some nesting activity in here look at that looks like some moss maybe a little bit of fluff this is not one of those bluebird nests. They would be all grass and making a nice cup shape. This uh, looks like a black-capped chickadee nest. How cool. All right, well, there's no eggs in there yet. Maybe it's still in the nest building process. So we'll have to see by next week just how many eggs get laid. All right, coming up to our last box of week two check. Uh, if you've ever wondered why we only check once a week, well, we found that if you disturb the birds too much, they'll actually abandon the nest, even if there's eggs or young in it. And we definitely don't want to happen. So we found that once a week is about perfect. So I'll take a look on our last one. And unfortunately, it looks empty. Well, one chickadee nest, not too bad of a start. Till next week. Bye. All of our Cory Hill bird fans, Miss Carrie here doing our third week of checks on the birdhouses. And this house I didn't show you last week because there was just a few pieces of grass in it and I wasn't sure if the birds were just putting grass in but they hadn't really quite decided on it just yet. So we'll see if it still just has those few pieces of grass or a little bit more today. I bet that knock. It feels a little bit heavier than it did last week so there might be more in there. And from the looks of it, yes, there is. Lots of grass, nice cup shape, a little bit of feathers. This looks like it would be a bluebird nest. That's great. That is the kind that we are hoping for to come into these boxes. Well, no eggs yet, but who knows by next week. So we'll put it back and we'll see where we are at with next week's check with this one. On to that uh, chickadee nest, see how that one's doing. So here's that box from last week that had the chickadee nest in it. Let's give it a knock and see if we have any eggs going. Tip it away, take a peek. It doesn't, doesn't appear that we've got any eggs going just yet. So hopefully by next week we'll have a few. All right, so we're to the last box of the check. 
you remember last week this one was empty so we'll have to see well, nobody's coming out Ooh, feels a little heavy haha <laughs> nice looks like we have got bluebird nest in there cup shaped grass that's perfect two bluebird nests and a chickadee nest no eggs though next week this check could be pretty exciting Hey everyone, Miss Carrie here doing our week four check of the Bluebird houses. We're at the end of April, so it's kind of exciting that we'll hopefully have some eggs. We're at that first Bluebird nest that we discovered last week. So we'll see if we've got any eggs in there. We'll give it a knock, take it on off, and take a peek. Oh, look, nice. Three Bluebird eggs. Perfect. Well, she only lays one a day, and she won't sit on them to start incubating until she has finished laying all of her eggs. So she may be having a few more to add to this box. We'll get it back on up here, and then we'll head on down towards that chickadee nest of ours. All right, we're coming up to that chickadee nest. We've had two weeks with no eggs, so we'll see what we've got in there now. Give it a knock. And take it on off, and we'll just kind of see. Whoa, it looks like we got two in there. Now, there could be more under that fluff. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, chickadee eggs are so cool, that nice creamy color with those little reddish-brown dots on them. So very pretty. All right, we'll get this box back on up. And then we will get ourselves down to that last bluebird nest. All right, we're to our last bluebird box with that bluebird nest in it. No eggs last week, so I have to see where we're sitting at. Uh, nobody's flying out, so let's take a peek. One lone bluebird egg. Nice. I always love the color of bluebird eggs. Such a pretty blue. Well, month of May could be pretty interesting. A lot of eggs, a lot of babies, a lot of full houses. To uh, find out the rest of the story, you're going to have to join us next Bird Sunday in June. Bye.